The control panel features an extremely user-friendly design with just a few control elements. The power button switches the Vento on and off. The product name appears in the top section of the display. In the second line, the tool symbol is displayed, providing access to the settings menu, and next to this, the selected working width is displayed. The EHR symbol in line 3 indicates the position of the tractor hydraulics either raised or lowered. Next to this is the target output rate. The small feed roller symbol rotates when the applicator is dispensing material. The current seed roller speed and forward speed are displayed alongside this. Use the menu rotation switch to navigate through the display. In most cases, you can navigate to a specific menu item or value by turning this switch. Simply press the switch to confirm your selection. Pressing the escape button allows you to abort any selection. Above this is the hopper empty indicator. The red LED illuminates when the Vento hopper is empty. Use the blue fan button to easily switch on and off the high performance fan. The start-stop button switches the seed roller on and off to control material dispensing. There are three navigation points in the main menu. Use the menu rotation switch to move the cursor. You can navigate to the product area at the top of the screen, for example, and access this line by pressing the switch. Now, simply select the required product and save. Access the settings menu via the tool symbol. Navigate to the EHR symbol and access by pressing the switch. Here, you can adjust the target output rate simply select using the rotation switch and save. All settings can be adjusted whilst in work and on the move if required. To access the main menu, position the cursor next to the tool symbol and press. The control panel is designed to be incredibly intuitive. Simply turn the rotation switch to navigate, enter and save. The first line in the main menu is quantity adaption. Here, it's possible to adjust the output rate in the event of a deviation from a preset value, such as tractor wheel slip. The hectometer can have two values, daily and total. To reset the daily area to zero, press and hold the rotation switch. Press escape to return to the main menu. In the Service Inquiry section, various values are visible. This information may be required when servicing the applicator. Calibrate the output rate via the calibration test line in the menu. Three different operating modes are available, automatic mode being the most common. This dispenses material at a constant output rate relative to forward speed. Manual modes can be set with or without hydraulic control. Calibration of varying speed sensors would also be achieved via the control panel. Wheel sensors, GPS and speed pulses need to be calibrated over a driven distance of 100 meters. The speed pulses are entered via the calibration run or directly via the speed pulse menu.
the EHR signal varies according to tractor manufacturers. This can also be adjusted in the menu. The first step before commencing work is to set the working width. Simply press the rotation switch, set the working width and save. In the residual discharge menu, you are able to empty the hopper of any remaining material through the hose outlets electronically using the start-stop button. Run the remaining material out into the calibration bag. In the error memory, any error records are accessible. In this example, the error was hopper empty. This function assists with telephone support. The control panel interface consists of 18 languages, making the applicator suitable for international use. As the Vento is used in many regions of the world, there are three different unit settings built into the system.